the entrance and the bond. If you, O oh Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, you can stay. But with you is found forgiveness, O oh God, of his right. Good morning. Good morning. The text of today's Mass is for Luke, Brian, and Kathy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and asking God for pardon. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These two women represented two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, ye barren one, who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children, not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks up, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. 
At the judgment, the queen of the south will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus' teachings are always so easy to understand, aren't they? Not. Um, but the key thing, I think, in the Gospel today is two things. An evil generation seeks signs. And uh, just as Jonah was assigned to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man, Jesus, be to this generation. Uh, and then it's repeated again at the end. So most of us know the story of Jonah. It's, a, it's an allegory. It's a story that's told to teach a message about the uh, incredible mercy of God. So to recap, Jonah was a Jewish man, an Israelite. Uh, and at, at the time that he lived, there was a, a powerful foreign nation, pagan nation, named Assyria. The capital city of Assyria, Assyria was Nineveh. The people who lived there were Ninevites. They were notoriously uh, wicked people, and they had oppressed Israel. Uh, they had caused a great harm, inflicted so much damage and misery on the people for a very long period of time. And God comes and calls Jonah and says, I want you to be a prophet to Nineveh and tell them to repent and I'll give them my mercy. And uh, Jonah said, say what? That was the last thing that he wanted to do. And so he started running. He started running away from God. He ran all the way to the coast and caught a ship uh, got on a ship as a stowaway, hid himself on a ship, a pagan ship, uh, to get away from Nineveh. And uh, a terrible storm came up at sea. The soldiers, on the, uh, as the boat was taken on water, the soldiers realized they were going to drown. They started praying to their gods for help. No answer, no abatement of the storm. And then they realize we must have done something really wicked to anger God. Uh, and then they started looking around the ship and lo and behold, they find Jonah. And they realize he must be the one who's angered his God. And this is the wrath we're getting. At that point, Jonah volunteered uh, for them to throw him overboard so that their lives would be saved. And they did it. They threw him overboard and immediately the storm abated, and they were saved. Jonah, instead of drowning in the water of the sea, God sent a big fish, a whale or some big fish, to swallow Jonah, uh, and three days he was there with whale breath. Uh, and then the fish took him right back to the coast of the shoreline of, can anybody guess? Nineveh. You can run from God, but you can't hide. God is the hound of heaven. There's no running from God. He's everywhere. He's in us. So Jonah reluctantly the mo becomes the most unenthusiastic prophet of God in the history of Israel. And you can just see him with this little sign or with fine print that hopefully nobody can read saying, 40 days more and then it will be destroyed. And the people hear this, and they recognize their wickedness, their sinfulness, the crimes they've committed, and they, they repent. They start repenting. They all put on sackcloth and ashes as a sign of their repentance. Even the king of them, they all repented, and they said, oh God, we have been horrible in our sins. Please have mercy. And that's what God did. Jonah was not happy, but that's what God did. So the sign, just as Jonah became a sign of, to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. 
As Jonah was a sign of the mercy of God, so Jesus Christ dying on the cross is a sign of the love and mercy of God. Uh, and as Jonah spent three days in the belly of a fish, Jesus spent three days in a tomb in the earth uh, and then broke forth from that tomb and overcame the bonds uh, and the enslavement of sin and death. So Jesus is the greater sign of the love and mercy of God. And that's what the Lord asks us to understand, that whenever we have sinned, whenever we have fallen away from God, uh, we can always come to God repentant, remorseful, contrite, and receive God's mercy. Je Jesus said at his time, this generation is an evil generation. What must he be saying up in heaven about our generation? I can't imagine he's saying anything less than, this is a really evil generation. But the Lord hasn't given up on us because he is the sign of God's everlasting mercy. So let us uh, remember that of all the signs we may get in our lives, personal and private signs included, of the love of God, there'll never be anything to top the death of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection from the dead. Let us bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. Our church, our church leaders, may the Holy Spirit direct them in their service to the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For you like the leaders, may God inspire them in working for the good of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are seeking purpose and meaning in their lives, and for those experiencing difficulty at any transitional stage of their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations of the priesthood, religious life, and permanent reaction in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of Our Lady of Prime Cycle, may we, may we be spared damage to life and property during this hurricane season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in Ukraine and the Middle East, for an end to war violence and racism, for a culture that respects life and the values of God, that the values of the gospel may guide voters in upcoming uh, federal and state elections, for fallen away Catholics to return to the practice of the faith, and for our personal intentions, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Father, please hear the prayers we have offered, which we make in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, in the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the second. Sorry. We entreat your majesty, most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from your most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. Thank you. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>